Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. The next couple episodes are going to deal with a time span of about three and a half hours where I just like straight record and there's really no starting and stopping. <laughs> there's no like welcome back and I'll see you later. So I'm going to have to edit those in because I was very focused at the time. Um, luckily, I split them up into like hour increments. Otherwise, I think my computer would have exploded. But anyway, welcome to this part of the shenanigans. And I hope you guys enjoy. I do my very best with all of this. Um, so once again, thank you for being here. And the video will start in a moment. It's about time Halson actually stepped up and joined us properly. He's certainly been taking up space at camp for long enough. Uh, it's... Weren't you? Were, did I not talk to her? Did she not say anything about his beefy arms? I did talk to her. I know I did. A bit. Yeah. Crowded. Uh, you can Don't take you Gail. Gail could do with the rest. I was. <laughs> Gail's like, I just finally got out. I'm like, get back, get back in your, get back in your box. Also, now we have somebody to take advantage. You guide me. Of the. What was it? Is it? Animate dead skeleton. Anime dead skeleton. Yes. Okay. Perfect. This is perfect. Let's get going. This place was made for Shadowheart. I have to bring her. Uh, a travel, a traversal gem. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> it's an adventure. I wonder if this will take us to the Underdark Temple that was like across the way that we couldn't get to. That would be interesting. Or it's like somewhere in the Shadow Curse Lands. Oh! Why is Asterion? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, why is Asterion first? It's me. I'm gorgeous. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have come down here yet. There's something below. That's right. There's a whole temple below us. Uh, but I was supposed to do this. So that is, okay, the Orthon is still upstairs somewhere. This is something secret and extra. Ah! Lit of shell before my very eyes. The dark lady guided me here. She she wanted me to find this place. I mean, I, did, I, I was the one who decided to bring you. What's hiding here? Potion of invisibility, good. I need more of those. After I used up the other one. A plaque. Plaque time. I get sage Shura, stuff from plaques. Singer of eternal night. Protector of the lost and forgotten. I read plaques and my little sagey historian heart is like, woo! We'll give it a shot. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. I mean, I don't particularly want to do that. Personally. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. <laughs> Stone door. I should maybe be... Next, I wonder. I'm gonna be shadow art for this daily wop stuff. The answer lies in darkness. Listen, I have a darkness spell if we need it, but. Shah's warriors must not be caught, must not be tricked. Only loss awaits the unworthy. Is that Shah boy? Is that. Is that Lady <gasps> Shah? You guys can't see my face, but I'm going. Oh! <gasps> I mean, can I can I walk around first? Got to press on. Woo! Woo! Okay. Uh, I believe in her. Good. Okay. surprise me that Char would have traps in her own sanctuary. She's like, if you guys get caught, it's your fault. I 
feel like I, I don't know, it's like, oh, Shara's right there, I should talk to her, she's right front and center, but... Uh, it's Arcane Lock. I could use Knock on it, though, but I don't have that guy, so I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, I always try to explore and get other, get information before dealing with whatever is the issue. The main course, I guess. I really should be having... Nope, uh, we're gonna blow it up. We're gonna ap we're gonna absolutely blow oh my gosh. Keep a blade close. We just walked over it like eight times. <gasps> ah Okay, that's curious. I saw this and I clicked on it. I don't know if I'll include it, but I clicked on it because I was like, oh, it's got like an examine thing on it. But it was so high up, I couldn't reach it. Okay, interesting. No time to waste. You know what? Hold up. Uh, we, you know what? We're gonna talk to Shar first, maybe. Cool. Who was that? Oh. Well, that left me winded. Ah, okay, maybe I put it back up. We put the fire back up so that she can, I don't know, have her full effect? I don't know. Let's see, let's see what happens when we talk to her, like, if we can talk to her like this. Maybe we won't be able to talk to her. Yeah, okay, so it's the same thing. doesn't hurt it just knocks you over okay so we do we cannot just talk to her we need to take down both of these things potentially or all of them there's like four what oh what I saw some I can't really see very well but I was, there's this central one, yeah, that maybe we need to put out all the way? Buddy, golly, that scared me, I wasn't looking. Oh. So I think removing the glowing, like the lit lanterns, right, is gonna be what gives us the darkness, I guess? What do we have here? That we need to see, like, properly? Which doesn't really make sense because I could see the lines fine. Like, I can see them fine, but nothing is. I can't seem to still walk in the front. Not again. Oh! Oh, so there's a second ring. Okay, because I kept seeing the first one and I was like, well, it doesn't work. But that's why we were getting. Close without even being close. I kind of want to go in there, but I'm gonna. We're gonna do this first. I'm gonna save. Like I said, I generally like to go and like do all the surrounding things first, but this feels like something where I should deal with this first. I guess. I guess I should just have. Shadow heart, do it. Welcome, child. Follow my voice and prove your worth. Okay. Ooh. Another kitty has come in. Well, okay then. So that These opened up the interesting. arcane lock door, but well. I didn't see anything about a key, but there is... Oh, wait. Both doors have opened waste now, a step. right? Here we go. In darkness, beauty is equal and wealth unseen. Yeah. I can see how some of the tenants would be appealing, right? 
for the Shar in worship. Like, if you feel, like, totally ostracized and, like, left out, um, you want to think that your pain means something. And so I think that that's where Shar comes in, right? She's like, oh, your pain definitely means something, you know? And you're like, oh, wow, thanks. Boom, cult. <laughs> Wits and blades always sharp. Worth a shot? Mm. Onward. Oh. I do like it down here. It's nice. Home. Yeah, there's a lever right here. I think. This is a dedication to my goddess's uh -huh. power and dark beauty. Homie is not the first word that comes to mind. Yeah, well, he is a vampire spawn, so. People. Reconstituted marksman. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you do not belong here. Your mind upends. What? Somehow in the decayed soup of this creature's brain, a tadpole lives. Another presence nurtures it, manipulates it like in, a puppet. In a Shar sanctuary? You plunder. You meddle. You upset my plans. Leave. Is Char the Absolute? Who or what am I speaking to? I am their creator. I saved them from life. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, sure. From death. Yeah, poor guys. From their skin and their flesh. Now they serve me. Leave before... E? Stupid worm infested cockhead! You have awoken the shadows! Uh, My forces are split. The defenses are thin! Rally on me! A wall of bone and blade against the darkness! Now! What? Have I awoken things I should not? Am I being tested? Justicier. What? So I put a big ice sleet storm here from Halson. Figured at the very least it would slow him down and knock him over, which is easy enough to deal with. Oh, did these guys all already die? I think they did. Two of them died at least. Wow. Jeez. Beckoning darkness. What are you doing to him? Oh, good. That sucks. Oh, stop summoning. This is one of the reasons I put I put the sleet storm here is because I figure they're gonna keep coming out. Oh, we can hit that. Let's hit that. I didn't know what we could do. Why did he just push his own? Oh, it's to wait to get them unprone. That's right. They aren't attacking Shadowheart. I think, is what this seems like. <laughs> Smited. Get sm I, I still haven't attacked these- yeah, I still haven't attacked these stupid things. Uh, let's see, I don't- it was seeming like- Let's play. Okay, we can. Oh, wow, okay. All right then, bud. Nature's fury shall not be checked. Have to keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, we still do need to, like, it's like, oh, you won, but I need to break that thing first. Shah's armies of destruction arose from within these halls. Who was I talking to? 
Those who do not listen to the reason of Lady Shah's words must instead feel the keenness of her blade. Oh, yeah? You sound like a student, reciting words for a test without considering their meaning. Something... I've considered them plenty. Something shaken. Besides, Lady Shah favors action over words. Try it out sometime. Uh, she did say that he wasn't doing much in camp. Uh, definitely, probably did something I wasn't supposed to do by activating this stuff. There is definitely Let's something deep. shaking in uh, in the the uh, the depths somewhere. Oh, down there? <laughs> okay, stay up here. Stay up here. Yeah, buddy. I almost thought I had to go down here, kind of like at the very beginning of the game. And like, poke, poke some buttons over there to get things to turn off. But, uh, nope. Why are there, there's two, two complete, Hey! <gasps> That's a displacer beast! That's one of those, like, freaking corrupted panther things oh my gosh that one is looks like a dead end though okay cool please <laughs> over here all right hey you shower person on I go lady shark on the altar is an inscription Brave the gauntlet of your lady Shah, surmount her oh. trials, and rise a dark justicia. Your convictions are proven true. This is the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Perhaps here you can show yourself to be worthy. A dark justicia at last. But uh, do you want that? Recall the trials, yes. Lady Shah's values are clear. Her children must excel in stealth, combat, and navigating her sacred darkness. Sacred Lastly, darkness. she asks for a sacrifice. To become a dark justicia, one must oh. spill the blood of a Salunite. Oh. oh, well, we're not doing that. The Dark Lady's cadre of elite warriors. The most faithful, the most envied, the most ruthless. Yeah? Is that, is that it? Okay. There are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. An orb. We must contemplate orbs. Something should fit in here. Have to find it. A traversal gem to over oh my gosh there's there is so much going on this is actually unreal um well if it isn't our mistress of pain <laughs> what anguish she has visited upon me i think i gave that to halson but i'm not a, i might still just be holding it Anyway, something is desperately trying to break in or out. I don't know, but this is apparently huge. But it's got nothing to do with the Orthon? I just, I'm concerned that I may have come down here too soon without dealing with what was up in the, uh, in the actual morgue or whatever, whatever you want to call it, mausoleum. Real quick, this was the start of a new day and a new recording, technically. Uh, there was a bit of a misinterpretation on information I was given by a friend, so we are having a brief interlude where we go back up to the top of the mausoleum. However, uh, I thought we were supposed to, like, there was more to do up there. It turns out I basically finished it, but real quick we go finish what little we hadn't done up there, and then I figure out other information, so we will be going back into the Gauntlet of Shar for a bit. It, it's a- I'm wishy-washy about it. I get- I'm real nervous about, like, 
crafting a poor narrative essentially I think is what the issue is so I get very uptight about that or like very nervous about it so I keep kind of going back and forth but um look it, it does iron itself out we're just going to have a brief interlude back at the top of the mausoleum and then we're going to go back into the gauntlet of Shar for a bit but once again I don't go too far in there so no worries about that but that's a brief summary of events for you <laughs> Uh, I also just enchanted, uh, I used a daylight spell that, what's her name has, this lady. I wonder what I've put it on. Hmm. This is so fortunate. Oh, also in my game with my friends, we actually figured out, um, how to do the, the Lathandir thing. And I was right. It was that I tried to use water the first time. Turns out, but I said, I was like, I should try grease. And then all I had, I, I just saw water and I was like, I'll try the water. And the water didn't work. And I was like, oh, okay, never mind. It was grease. I was right. I was supposed to use life. grease and so, uh, I might go place. back for it. It was pretty interesting. All of my friends were very chaotic. And uh, they definitely just yoinked it. They yoinked the object that's down there. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so it was funny. But also now this daylight spell is like a little much. It's like it's like kind of actually making things hard to see. But anyway, I think we read volume three. That's Merkel symbol. Merkel. I suppose the names a fitting place for the Lord of the Dead. Okay, we had some. This is Lord of the Dead stuff. That's right. We had people be like, we don't know what that is. Blah blah blah. Catherick Thorne dishonored the very bones of his ancestors to make this totem to Merkel. Oh, is that what he did? Horrifying. Horrifying. A small note is squeezed into the margins of the tome detailing necromantic rites. General Thorne's orders were clear in order to find out what lies beyond this mausoleum. One must walk in his own footsteps deed by deed. From splendor to tragedy to infamy. I knew there was a... I knew it. That, that, this is in, this is talking about the, um... That room we were in. This was talking about the uh, the room we had to do the paint, the portraits or the paintings rather, and it's like from splendor to tragedy to infamy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew there was a clue somewhere, and I just didn't get far enough because I am a silly little nincompoop, and I try so hard. No, I'm not sitting in the bone chair. Spooktastic, thank you. No. Although now that I'm looking around at things, I don't really. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't see many other places to go besides that secret room we went into. A totem dedicated to Merkel. Catherick Thorne ransacked the graves of his ancestors at, to honor his This person looks God. like they, they died just like, like, oh man, you know, like head and hands. Leaning over the edge like, man, this sucks. And then they stayed that way for eternity. And this one looks like they died worshipping whatever was going on. Potentially. This person just died. Very unfortunate. Alright, so it said kill the Orthon. But it's saying it at the entrance. So I went in and it still said kill the Orthon on the entrance. Like, I don't... Like, if I go in or out, like, there's no direction. And I'm... I am I am now unsure of what to do. Okay, not sure how I'm going to edit all of this, but I just got off the phone with my friend. Because again, I couldn't look anything up because of spoilers. Uh, apparently the mausoleum wasn't that big a deal. Um, like, there's, it wasn't, there wasn't extra stuff up there. My idea that the Orthon was up there was incorrect. Apparently the Orthon is down here, even though... I don't understand why this little thing keeps telling me the doorways and it doesn't keep doesn't tell me where I'm supposed to go. Um, but apparently the displacer I have to go through the displacer beast to get to the Orthon and I can fight the Orthon and I just have to get to the point where like I have to get to the point of no return on Shar's Gauntlet and then and then I go do at least part of Moonrise. Um, We'll see. At this point, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I say that, but like, wh wh who knows? Who knows what I decide to do later? I keep changing my mind. Um, this needs a little orb thing in it, and then I think we can tr do some traversal stuff. Uh, quick save. I'm gonna poke it, see what happens. But I don't want to go anywhere. I want to go down the stairs. 
Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, we need the gem. Um, but apparently the Orthon is potentially over here by, the, like, through the Displacer Beast. Which is sick. Look at that thing. So, the closer I get, I, the more I realize that that actually, that's not a red entity. That was a yellow one. I was gonna do a sneak attack, but I think I can just walk in. And, I mean, the Displacer Beast ran away. I don't, I don't think it saw me, but it did run away. See? Displacer Beast. Are they- Is it like leading me on? Oh my gosh. It's like- it's like leading me to the- to something. I don't know. I'm like, I'm just gonna sit here. Don't mind me. Alright, you want me to go that way, so I'm gonna look at this really quick. What's inside? Money. Take money from the dead. I'm like trying to make sure, like, if I see anything. No. Okay. This is not. I definitely expected it to be more of a. of a fight right out the gate, but. If this is leading to the Orthon, which I think it is, according to what my friend said, friend said, um, so much blood. Ah! What the hell's has been happening here? Something failed. Something failed. Lost condition invisible. I can see you. Yeah, I was like something with my eyes. Where are you? You're like right. They're like right. In, no, they're above me. Mm -hmm. People are failing. <laughs> <laughs> They're failing invisibility saves, but nobody's attacked me yet, so, um... Out there. I can yeah, I, I, everybody else did- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ooh. A very gory idea of Oh, that. it just came into focus. Oh, that's really gross. Now, I, ooh, I do not think I want to be talking to whoever did this. I gotta be real with you. Uh, oh my, Ortho, mm, 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 that's really, wow. Mm, maybe we do kill this thing and I don't feel bad about it. I, I am, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to go up here, but I can't believe we haven't triggered something yet. Kitty, kitty. What's this? Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? A dark dweller you may be. But there's a definite whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too At the devil! A devil! <laughs> Try as I might, the surface stink won't wash off. No. I'm here to talk. I don't talk to prey. I... Yeah. There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. He smells Raphael! And sulfur. Raphael! I can smell him all over you! You're not the one. Where is he? Do I have to talk to you? I don't actually know if this is the one or not. I'm like, Orthon is not necessarily a name. And I think I mentioned a while ago, I was like, oh, I think it's a demon. No, it's a devil. It's a, it's a devil. I was playing with my friends recently, and we popped up on Raphael, and he's like, it's a devil. You know Raphael? That perfume trickster swindled me. Yeah. Trapped me. Oh, okay. Uh, he wants you dead. Where is he? Spit it out. No. I mean, he's around, you know. What are you doing? What? The devil told us to kill this thing. So let's stop chatting and kill it. I know. Asterion's probably going to leave me. I don't know anything about this entity. I would like to learn more about Raphael. But no, I don't think even at this point I would be dealing with a devil. Like, as best as I can. I'm obviously dealing with Raphael though, so it's like, dang it. 
You know? I don't know. And I think Asteria is going to freaking leave me. Uh, I've got nothing to spit out. I was hoping to talk a bit. But maybe Raphael wasn't lying. Maybe this devil really is, like, bad, bad news. Because this looks bad. This looks bad. Yeah, I've got nothing for you. If you won't speak, then you don't need to draw breath. Tell me what I want, or I'll feed you to my pet over a ten day and keep you alive to watch. Uh, let's let. Mm, oh, let's. I just want to. We gotta talk. Let's share our experiences. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece. Okay, from so this guy, like, I'm not feeling too bad. I can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here, not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Sick. When I fulfill the contract, die trying. Or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Like if you've written of a contract, I find that hard to swallow. Maybe you'll find a crossbow bolt down your throat easier to manage. Are we gonna start fighting? Maybe you're better off indebted to Raphael? You wouldn't say that if you truly knew his mind. Just listen to the terms he gave me. <laughs> <sighs> Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wander Shah's halls, hungry to slay. Leave no justice here, alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your own. Swear, swear it to I'm curious me. why he swore to Raphael. Uh, uh, like why he got into this contract. Uh, well, that explains yeah. where all the dark justice years went. Oh, I failed. Ah. Well, so he's the one who slaughtered the justicias. Can we kill him now? Because if he doesn't die, then Raphael won't tell me a damn thing about my scars. Yeah, I, I understand, Asterian. Uh, why do you want to kill Dark Justice? Why does, he, why does Raphael want you to kill Dark Justice? Asking why doesn't get me paid. Hunting and killing does. Raphael mentioned something. An Azmar! Meant nothing to me. I did my part. I filled these halls with ghosts. But Raphael's playing some other game. One that involves stiffing. I would love to play an Azamar someday. Enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Oh darn. Time to die. Time to run. Mm. I don't I don't wanna let this guy go, but I know Raphael's playing like a playing a game here. Let's let's see how a persuasion roll goes. And we can look around further and then we can still kill this guy, but maybe I can get more details on Raphael. If I fail, I fail, you know? No big deal. I say until I die repeatedly many, many, many times. I spent a I, century what? in these halls. I spilled every drop of dark justicia blood that there was to spill. And you think you I'm not can surprised do better? by their disapproval. Go on then. I'll enjoy watching you fail. But try to run. And you will regret it. I may be trapped here, but I'm not without friends. If you break your word, they'll hunt you down and make your final moments a symphony of agony. Yay. Um, anyway, listen! Asterian's inspired! And he's mad at me also? 
Hang on. What was, what was what's he inspired about exactly? He was mad. Why is he inspired? Expose a half true. I haven't done that yet. Oh, come on, Asterian. I hope you're not serious about helping that hell's Listen, beast. Listen, buddy, I'm deceiving. We made a deal with Raphael. His destruction for the secrets written on my back. Wait, this all part of the plan. All right. Okay. If you say so. Listen, also, this lets us get a better position. Like, if we can look around, like, then if, if I end up finding things or not, like, this will let us position better for a fight so we're not like all down on the low ground and they're all up on the high ground you know what i mean hey they got you got a gem but uh, okay i gotta take that from him when when i win and with that we will conclude that part of the messy saga and only to pick it up in the next episode so i hope you all enjoyed the episode and really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my going to your patron patrons but Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support as well. I very much appreciate it as well. <laughs> and I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I cannot thank him enough. Uh, thank you all again for watching. Sorry, my voice probably sounds weird. I just woke up recently. So thank you guys again so much, and I hope to see you in the next one.